one I'm going to show you is kind of Froyo based Android. Okay. Um, we, we don't have a lot of the software elements uh, complete yet, um, but I will walk you through what we're doing on the hardware just so you have an sure. understanding of how we're different. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the reasons we're different? Yes, so that is actually one of the big reasons that we're different. Um, our design, uh, I think, looks pretty unique. You tell me, you probably have seen more tablets than I have here at CES. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. <laughs> um, but we didn't opt for a metal surface. Uh, we actually um, have this really cool rubberized surface that just made sense to put on a tablet. I mean, these things are meant to be held, you want something that's comfortable to hold. Um, but it also has a slip resistant quality to mm -hmm. it. And, um, you know, I've seen many an iPad owner uh, in my circle of friends <laughs> scratch up their backs uh, yeah. or, you know, that's a slippery surface and, and I've seen it go, you know, fall off the couch. Full size, so, full size SD card. Full size SD card. Um, so port-wise, um, we're pretty well equipped. We've mm -hmm. actually gone beyond um, uh, the Android spec. Mm -hmm. Can you give us the, the list of ports? Um, I can give you the list of ports. I can actually show you the ports too. So um, you, you found the SD mm -hmm. card slot, but we also have uh, under this cover uh, three additional ports, which is the full size um, the USB 2.0 port mm -hmm. uh, and the HDMI port, uh, which is capable of scaling up to a 1080p display uh, and a, a mini USB there as well. And then uh, we are Bluetooth. Uh, out of you know, capable out of the box, so we're ready to support all the wireless, Bluetooth wireless accessories uh, as well. And then um, you know, we do have uh, this is where we dock. Okay. So we actually do dock in the landscape. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know if you've seen other tablets docking this way. Most of them I've seen are, are going this mm -hmm. way. Um, we just feel uh, this is more of a natural uh, approach uh, because we are a widescreen display as well. Uh, we have a 16 by 10 aspect ratio on our screen, and the screen itself is 1280 by 800. So. Uh, good quality uh, screen here. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is, what is that? Seven inches? No, it looks 10. like 10.1. Yeah, 10.1. Yeah, we think 10, uh, 10 inches is, is a good screen size. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on that. I think back to my wife who says I can't put a 10 inch tab in my purse. Yeah. yeah. Do you think seven inches is. I like so. Yeah, seven's been good for me. I, I don't have an iPad, so I don't have a big. Do you think yeah. one in between seven and 10 would be? Oh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, I mean, ten, it, it depends on the application. Yeah. Like, 10 yeah, is better for web browsing, and yeah. it's, um, I guess it's better for getting work done, and so it depends on what kind of, you know, work you think yeah. you might be yeah. capable of accomplishing on a device yeah. like that. See, I mean, from what, when we went and we did our research on this, um, we found that, you know, these tablets uh, are really um, wanting to be used in the home. That's what mm. we're really buying them for. Um, so the mobility aspect of it was actually secondary to uh, I want a big screen uh, to surf the net on. That's what we heard a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why we think the 10 inch is a good place to start. Um, we are looking at this as a category though. So um, you know, it, assuming all goes well with this one, you'll see us come to market with some additional screen sizes. Sure. What those are, we don't know yet. <laughs> so kind, of, kind of traditional lights there. That's more kind of computerish than. Um, it is. So uh, you know. Um, we wanted to put some indicator lights on. People like to know when their wireless is mm -hmm. on, right? Um, it's kind of just one of the things that we know from the laptop world. People want to know when you know, their battery is about to, um, to go kaput. Um, people want to know when the thing's turned on. So we did include these indicator lights, as well as the hard buttons for power and, and uh, volume over here. And then we have the screen orientation lock here. So kind of the basics in hard button form. Uh, and then the quick keys, uh, that, you know, pretty much everybody has these, but um, the quick keys for uh, navigating Android. I know it's not the it's not the final software. Can, can you turn it on? Yeah, um, I can, and I can actually show you one of our. Um, so we use Toshiba, um, kind of in a unique position because we've got you know long long history of, of audio visual mm -hmm. um, products and technologies. So we've been drawing on that history a lot with this product, and um, a couple of technologies that will make us unique in the marketplace um, is one like this right here, which is our Resolution Plus technology, oh, wow. and this is um, video upscaling. Uh, technology that we have was actually born out of our television group. Um, and essentially what it does is it takes a standard definition video and compresses it up so it looks more high definition. So on this side you can see standard uh, and this side is where Resolution Plus is applied. So everything gets you know, come more uh, color, colorful, everything looks a little clearer. And this is a, a feature that will be seamless to the end user as well. So you aren't going to have to turn this on. You can turn it off, um, but it's we're, we're going to turn it on. Does it take more power? Really? 
Um, so that's one of the technologies that we have. Um, some of the other ones that we aren't able to show you here today, but we will uh, over the next coming months, um, is our adaptive di uh, technologies. We've got an adaptive display technology. Mm -hmm. um, again, born out of our television group. Um, they're a really great resource because all they do is a big screen, right? That's all they're. That's all. That's the only thing that they work with. Um, that technology actually adjusts the brightness and the contrast of the display um, to your lighting environment. So, oh. um, you know, we're really good with making things better, right. right? And making things our features very practical and very easy for you to use. So that's kind of what we're baking into this product as well. So with that um, display technology, uh, we also have a sound technology as well, adaptive sound technology. So. Um, with a noise reduction uh, technology baked in there. So we stereo can, speakers? Uh, stereo speakers. So not only can we enhance the capabilities of the onboard speakers here, um, but we can um, take, uh, reduce some of the ambient noise right. that you might experience when you're video chatting. So What's the resolution on that camera? Mm -hmm. 2.0 uh, okay. megapixel. And then on the back, it's 5. Ballpark for any sort of commercial release. Um, we're targeting honeycomb. So, mm -hmm. so um, waiting. You know, as soon as as soon as that's ready, yeah. uh, we'll be ready to ship. And what what channels are you going to ship in? Um, we're focused on um, uh, for the U.S. We're focused on mass market retail. Okay. Um, so we don't we think Wi-Fi is a really great opportunity. We think a lot of consumers out there just want a Wi-Fi model, and iPad sales mm -hmm. substantiate that. Um, so uh, that's our priority. Uh, but we are also talking to the carriers as well. We just don't have any partnerships ready to announce at okay. this time. How thick is it? Um, it is. Uh, we're st uh, let's see my dimensions. It's 0.6 inches. <laughs> Sorry, I had the uh, millimeters <laughs> in my head, which doesn't do you any good. No. Yeah. <laughs> we have to convert because mm -hmm. it's coming from Japan. So. Do that all the time. <laughs> we don't want to replace um, it. So we're going to kind of leave it as is, but do small minor enhancements that we do as Toshiba, right? So we'll be offering uh, things like a file manager or application that allows you to utilize supports and move your files around mm -hmm. uh, easily, as well as a service station application that allows you to upgrade, um, you know, your version of Android well, a little bit more nice easily. If you're, not, if you're not putting a skin on it, you think that you'll be able to keep up with the update cycle? Yeah, quickly? yeah, 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 and that application is, is very much intended to do that. And then um, we will have a marketplace uh, that is in addition to Android Market, uh, okay, which is really just, Android. yeah, uh, that's the plan, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 um, uh, but we will have uh, kind of an add-on marketplace uh, that allows us to feature content that maybe has been optimized for this device, um, or we just think is a really good high-quality application.